Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Well, good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. My name is Robert, and it's a joy to be uh, stepping into a new section of scriptures. We study together the book of James, and uh, Pastor Ruben kicked that off yesterday with episode 1100 of your word for the day. What a great milestone and a great occasion to start a new book of the Bible. And I love the book of James because uh, James gets so practical and direct uh, and so focused on, on wisdom for us as well. Uh, And so with that, I've got a question for you, and that is, how many of you want more wisdom in your life? Now, uh, of course, I can't see your hands, but I hope uh, you raised them or at least went, "Mm -hmm," mm-hmm, as you were drinking your coffee or whatever you're doing as you're watching this, Uh, because we have so many situations that if we're honest, we all need more wisdom. If you uh, are a parent, either currently or you've got grown children, all you have to do is think about your season of being a parent, especially a new parent. And you remember going, I have no idea what I'm doing here. And then you think you're the only one and you talk to other parents and they confess that they have no idea what they're doing. You you all need more wisdom. It's not just parenting, it's our marriages, it's at work, it's in our friendships, it's as we navigate the world around us, especially if we're trying to honor and serve God in a world that is not at all interested in doing those things. There's a great need for wisdom. So where do we go? Well, James chapter 1, as we continue to look at this great book, it says this in verse 5. It says, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith, in faith rather, with no doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that's driven and tossed by the wind. For that person must not suppose he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all of his ways. Now, I want you to catch the encouragement that comes from that. It says, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives generously uh, to all without approach and it will be given to him. Think about that. The God of the universe, the God who has infinite wisdom and all knowledge wants to give you more wisdom. And so do you believe that today? Do you believe that, that the God who loves you, the God who sent his son to save you, the God who sent his Holy Spirit to dwell in you wants to continue to bless your life by giving you wisdom? Because what we see from this passage is if you don't, if you don't truly believe that, if you don't truly believe that God wants to bless your life, that wants to work and give you wisdom, then you shouldn't suppose you're going to receive anything because he knows the doubt. He knows the, the, the wavering, the questioning that's in there. So, so first, do you believe that the God of the universe wants to grant you wisdom? And secondly, maybe a more pointed question for you is, are you going to him in pursuit of that wisdom? See, we have so many options when we're stuck in a situation of where we go and pursue wisdom. We can do research on the internet. We can ask our friends who make marginally better decisions than we do. We can uh, wing it on our own. We can kind of poll and do a survey. Think about, you know, who wants to be a millionaire and the options that they had to, you know, quote unquote, get more wisdom and their, their options of lifelines. Where are you going for wisdom when you need it? Because what we see here is that Anytime we're stuck in a situation, anytime we're lost and need guidance, we should be going to God, asking uh, for his wisdom in prayer, going and consulting his word and saying, you've given me your word as a guide for my life. What wisdom on this area is contained here and how do I align it with you? Are you going to God in pursuit of that wisdom or are you looking for it elsewhere, either from this world, from your friends, from yourself? Because if you're doing that, you're ultimately filling your life with wisdom that is not perfect in complete wisdom. So today, wherever you find yourself, whatever topic or situation that you just feel stuck in in this area of wisdom, I pray that you would understand that one, God loves you. He loves you so much that he wants to bless your life and help you. And part of that help is pouring his perfect, complete, infallible wisdom into your life. I hope that you operate in the faith that he wants to do that and that you pursue that wisdom from him and not from anywhere else. Have a great and wise day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.